Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to you. Start off on the bottom here with Gateshead. And I think we can win the league today. We've got eight games left, I think I counted, and we're still 20 points clear. Of course, they have a game in hand, so I'm not entirely sure. But I don't want to miss the game we're going to win the league in, and I don't feel like doing the math, even though it's easy. But, <laughs> yeah, eight games left. I was right on that one. 20 points clear. So, I mean, I think we can win the league in these next two games, as far as I know. And uh, if not, then we'll just play until we do win. It might be a long episode in that case, but we'll just see how it goes. And uh, I'm good at this. I haven't simmed uh, or uh, progressed until the <laughs> until the game. Don't know why I didn't do that, but I'll I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so now we're here against Barrow, and uh, I don't think we can win the league today unless like Wrexham lose and. I think Tremor would have to draw or lose, so, I mean, <laughs> we might, though. There's always a chance. Let's go ahead and get into this. I completely didn't show you the team for, well, I showed you it for a few seconds. You can see it here, anyway. Fairly normal team. Uh, McLaughlin has to come in for uh, our best player, McCourt, and, <laughs> and Bolton has to come in for Phillips, but other than that, the team's unchanged. Actually, uh, George Smith is back now. But other than that, the team's unchanged from the last time you saw it. Uh, let's see, I mean, I don't know what happened in the last match. I can't remember, honestly. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into this. I think we're well, we're definitely going to win the league in this episode. <laughs> Unless we manage to lose every single game. And even then, I think we might still win the league. Because um, I'm, I'm going to play all eight games if I have to. <laughs> so funny enough Wrexham aren't playing today so I'm gonna have to wait to see if we if we win the league if we can even win it today my head's not doing math right now even though I'm taking AP statistics right now funny enough my head's not doing math at all it's just not going to happen. I don't exactly know what's going on with this highlight. It's just kind of been a bunch of us giving the ball away and us tackling them. And then they play their man through, whose name I can't pronounce, and now I'm going to have to try to pronounce it. I'm not, I, I can't. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Uh, and we're down 1 0. I never even showed you the game since the. I'll just show them to you now. I mean, I might as well. Yeah, we lost 3 0 to Maidstone. That happened. So you saw the Wrexham game. So, I mean, there's only been. Only been three games since then 1 0, 3 0, and 3 1. We just so happened to lose to Maidstone 3 0. That was bad. I think that one player I just, <laughs> just got a hat trick, too. I forgot about that. Anyway, yeah, I feel like next season I'm going to go much deeper into other teams' tactical, you know, all, all their mentalities and stuff and <laughs> try and figure them out. This season I haven't done any of that, though, because we've been, you know, 10-plus points clear for most of the most of the time as Ajala scores to bring us back a level. So right now we're 21 points clear with seven games left. That would not do it, I don't think. It shouldn't. So we need to win today, definitely. And then uh I think it's a likely next game we'll uh we'll be crowned champions. But I mean if Wrexham and if Wrexham loses and Tremor draws or loses, I think we'll have it. But, uh, of course, they play that ridiculous named guy. But Hanford actually makes the save this time. He's actually been really good recently. He was in Team of the Week last week as well. As we deal with the corner fairly confidently. That's a good tackle as well. Looks like Manny Smith's going to have to come off at some point. I don't know what happened to him. But... <laughs> He is really tired. Was he just... I don't think he was in bad condition when the game started. I don't know what's up with him. 
It's not a hundred percent match fitness. I have no idea. Yeah, we can definitely still win this one. Here's the right and played through down the left, and somehow nothing happened there. No, no cross or anything. They are just absolutely dominating them. They have more clear-cut chances, but, I mean, in terms of shots and shots on target, we're just dominating. We just can't seem to find the back of the net all that often, which is concerning since we have Montel Moore up top, and I need to take Manny Smith off. Parkworth, that'll do. <clears throat> and nobody for Corey Francis, because Liam Smith decided to hurt himself. Uh, we'll put on McCourt, I guess, can kind of do that. Yeah, I'm surprised. McCourt can do everything. Let's just face it. <laughs> I'm going to try and sign him in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, preseason. I almost called it offseason. That's too American. Um, <laughs> but, uh, during the preseason, same with, same with Francis. Francis? Fran oh, God, what's his name? It's not Francis. That's, that's the center attacking midfielder who is actually our player. Uh, I'm really bad with my own players' names, and it's really bad. Probably because he's not my player. As that guy gets played through again. Where is he from to get a name like that? And he puts a beautiful ball into Harrison, but he can't finish, and Williams' shot is blocked by James Bolton. Uh, I was going to see where that guy's from. Where can I find him? Let's see, I'm going to go to their team. This is probably the worst way to do it, but... It's easy to pick out. He is from... Who? Oh, St. Kitts. Okay. That still is a weird name. <laughs> I mean, what do they speak in St. Kitts? And does it say their language anywhere? No? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> anyway, back to the match where I need to see Phillips. Oh, it's Phillips. That's our right back. Yep. Don't know how I forgot that. I'm going to always want to call this guy Danny Williams from the journey, even though I'm, I'm pretty sure his name probably isn't Danny. Anyway. Corey Francis really needs to come off, but I have nobody to bring on for him. I can't even move McLaughlin up because we don't have another center midfielder on the bench. Because Liam Smith got injured. Funny thing is, we haven't had a goal... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We hadn't had a goalkeeper on the bench all season. <laughs> we've we've been kind of fortunate with that one. Uh, yeah, Wes York can come on for the last few minutes. We need to go for this. <laughs> really? I want to win the league tomorrow. I think it would probably be tomorrow. I mean, do they not know that we can win the league? Come on. Just let me... Uh... my mic there but you'd probably rather not hear me sneeze it would probably be really loud in this mic I'm going overload that's what I'm doing I mean how are we not winning this game look at the shot totals and shots on target we've we've tripled their shots on target and it's 1-1 I mean that's just bad that really wasn't good enough I mean, they are 10th. Well, now we should be able to beat Barrow, I hope. And, uh, is the, have they played their game? No, I'm going to go forward until they play their game. Oh, well, there's there's their game. Oh, right, that's the FA Trophy. Okay, so they're probably not going to play anytime soon in that case. So, <laughs> I'll see you for the next game, I guess, then. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, their game in hand is going to be played later. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're back here for the game against Dover, and, uh, that's the team for today. McLaughlin has to play center attack mid because Francis is on 85% condition, and I'd just rather not play him. I've seen McLaughlin do a job there, so we should be fine. McCourt and Phillips come back in because they are no longer tired. I don't know why they get tired at such random times. But uh, they do, so... <laughs> it, it, it's just both of them, and they're both on loan. They're both transfer listed by request from Northampton, and I, I don't know. There's something weird about them. Anyway, can we win the league today? I don't know, because they still haven't played their game in hand. So I'm not sure. I think if they're playing today, I think it's the same scenario as last time, as far as I know. I'm not really sure, though. 
So we'll just we'll just see what happens. Let's just go ahead and oh, and uh, Wes York wanted to play more, so I, I said he could, even though Ajala has been amazing. But I mean, Wes Wes York deserves it. D d deserves deserves a chance to. So yeah, I mean, if we play our game, we will win. They're twenty third, I think. So and they have Wilshire. I mean, I know you're not supposed to click on players' names. I can't click on his name. Uh, let's see, who's this Wilshire guy? Kieran Wilshire, is he related? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, match, thank oh, I'm, what am I doing? That button, there we go. I can see why the, uh, the FM screens and stuff can be so boring for, or so, so confusing for, for people that are just starting, because they are fairly, uh, fairly complex at, at times. We should have scored there. We had like three shots, and did they just remove our clear cut chance? <laughs> I could have sworn that just said one clear cut. Wait, where'd all our shots go? Oh, there they go. They're back. That's weird. Okay. FM already bugging out. That's a good sign, right? Anyway, York running at their defense here. Skips by the man, plays it out to Smith, who plays it to Wrightson, who rounds his man, puts it in McCourt's there, but he can't score. It's a tight angle, to be fair. We're back in position here. Wrightson tries to win to the header, but he ends up getting it back there, and he's fouled by Parkinson. That looked like a pretty bad tackle. And he's off, too. <laughs> I mean, it, it did kind of look like he flew in there, so probably uh, probably the right decision. So they've, ne they've now gone for, to a 4-1-3-1. So they're not wide at all, which means we should be able to abuse them down the wings. What are you doing? I'm so glad he missed that. Okay, I'm gonna actually put on some instructions for once. I don't think I've used them at all this year. Let's exploit the wings. Because there's nobody there. They don't have any wingers. They've just got fullbacks. And we're really good on the wing. Well, we're actually terrible on the wings, but they both play good, so. I mean, and Mafuda picks up another yellow card. <laughs> That's gotta be like 18, 19 on the season. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. At this rate, he might miss the game we win the league in. Uh, anyway, Phillips tries to cross it and gets it back. Crosses it back into Moore, who hits the crossbar. I think that was Moore. His name didn't pop up, which makes me think it was a defender, but I'm pretty sure it was Moore. I'm trying to figure out how we haven't scored in this game yet, really. Moore's throw again here. Can he cross it into somebody? Finds York. York scores. I think it was a good decision to start him. So at this point in time, we are 21 points clear. And they still have seven games remaining. No. Yeah, they have seven games remaining. So we need them to lose. Is there, where are they losing right now? No, I think they're drawing right now. Can I see you? Okay, whatever was going on there. Latest scores. What's going on in that game? That is Wrexham. Wrexham, Wrexham, Wrexham. Uh, have I gone by them? There they are. They are actually losing to Halifax, which is impressive. So technically we would have won the league because nobody's ever going to catch us on goal difference. Because we have 32 goal difference, which is absolutely insane. But, uh, so we're not, we haven't won the league yet, which is annoying. Unless we, no. I don't think we have, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and apparently they're losing by another one now. I just saw their goal difference go down. Yeah, there's definitely still room for improvement. Um. <clears throat> I don't think we're winning the league right now. I could be doing something really stupid, but I'm pretty sure we're not. Because we're 21 points clear. With their seven games remaining. I mean, basically, since we kind of are ahead by 21 and a half points, this is when that, that whole goal difference thing comes in, comes important. Since we're ahead by 21 and a half with the superior goal difference... 
technically we've won the league. But then again, I mean, they could potentially score a whole lot of goals, and we could lose by a whole lot, and our goal difference would level out, but that's never going to happen, let's face it. So, if everything stays as it is, uh, we're basically champions. Technically not, but basically. I'm going to take off my Fuda. Bring on Barkworth. <clears throat> And Jack McCourt has picked up an injury. Or not. Looks fine to me. Okay. I mean, he's tired, which is expected, but... Uh, George Smith, now that Firefield's actually on the bench, and George Smith is on a yellow, so he'll definitely come off. It all depends when Wrexham play their game in hand. I might, I mean, there might be another game in this episode. There might not. I don't know what their schedule looks like. We'll check that out in a second, even though the dates are probably backwards because England is, is annoying like that. Why, why do you why do you put your dates backwards? I mean, it's it's a month first, day second. It's not, I mean, like today is not the 17th of the 2nd, 2017. It's 2-7-2017. Did I say 2016 the last time? Uh, anyway, Wrightson's throwing goal here. Can he pass it to Moore? Squares it to Moore. Moore finishes. Wonderful. That's his 26th goal of the season. Where would we be without him? I'm going to take off my McLaughlin. There we go. I mean, where would we be without Monto Moore? That's the scary thing. I mean, our goal difference is 33. He's got 26 of those. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about. Of course, I don't know if those 26 are all league goals. I don't think they are, but... I'll check at the end of the game how many goals he has in the league, because... I mean, I just, I don't think we'd be winning the league without him. I mean, they have a late free kick here, which is cleared, but they do pick it back up. And I'm assuming Wrexham are still losing. Uh, late scores. Are Wrexham still losing? Yeah, it's 2-1. But it's almost over as well, so. It does appear that they're going to lose that game. Of course, I've said this before, and then somebody scores a goal on us. So, they'll probably score now that I've said that. We cross it and Wrightson can score that. That's 3-0. That's his ninth goal of the season, really. He's so inconsistent, though. And he's not very good, either. That's the that's the weird part. None of our wide men are all that good. They're kind of... I mean, they're, they're like leading players for this league, but they're not, they're not, you know, really on par with the rest of the squad. And that is full time, and that's basically the league wrapped up. Uh, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It just all depends, Jack McCourt. It didn't say there was anything wrong with him. But he's out four to five weeks, which is a shame. It never came up with, like, the, the injury thing. It said it on the side, but it never, uh... Never showed up as a status of being injured. You know, I was going to look at Wrexham's schedule. Wow, they haven't lost in a long time up until that point, except for that Gort game. So they play Eastley on the 24th, which I think is when we play, uh... That's when we play Boreham Wood. So we could win the league there. What is that there for? When's there? I guess the 27th is there. Uh, yeah, the 27th is their game in hand, which, funny enough, is my birthday, so if we win the league on my birthday, of course, that would require us to lose this game. I'm pretty sure if we win this game, it's beyond doubt, it's over. So, in that case, I'll see you for the first three-game episode I've ever done against Bormwood. Alright, this is it. This is the last game Hopefully, before we're crowned champions, if we win today, we win the league. Simple as that. Because we are so far clear. We're 21 points clear at this this, this point. So if we win, it's over. I think even if we draw, it's over. <laughs> let's see, what could... Let's see, we're 21 points clear. I, yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty much already over to begin with. But let's go ahead and make it official. 
I didn't show you the team again, so you can see it here. We're favorites, of course. Uh, yeah, we are well prepared. Tori Francis is injured. Oh. Well, I guess he's back. <laughs> I, th I thought he was injured. Anyway, I'm just saying, I'm just going to say he's being arrested. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, we're going to play a normal game. So that's the team. I thought Corey Francis was injured. <laughs> I guess not. He must have just came back and I didn't see it. So Hillett starts in his position. McLaughlin is coming for... Uh, why can't I... But, uh, why can't I ever remember his name? It's uh, Jack Cork. Yeah, him. Uh, and other than that, I think it stayed the same. Actually, Fifield had to come in for George Smith because he's suspended. Which is a shame because he's been amazing all year and doesn't get to be out here when we win the league. But, of course, that's assuming we win this game. I think all we have to do is draw, though. So, even though I, I would never play for a draw. Always a win. Always a win. So, as things stand, I think we've won the league. <laughs> I mean, right now. Just now. We've already won it, so. But a goal definitely would be nice, and not one for them, as they go through on goal, and of course they're going to score. <laughs> uh, I'm hyping this game up so much. I mean, that is their first shot, and we haven't even had one yet, which is the bad part, but... Wow, it is pouring down rain. And they have George Smith and Goal, I'm assuming, as well. And they're through again here. They managed to miss that one somehow. We've had six shots all of a sudden. <laughs> None of which were on target, but... And four were long shots. I guess the other two were blocked. We uh, really need to go here. Of course, it looks like... Uh, I mean, we're still 20 points clear right now, and we're losing. So, I don't know. I don't know anymore. All I know is that we need to win. And I think a draw should do it, too. But I'm not sure. I'm just going to yell at them. I do, though. I mean, they do know they can win the league today, right? I, they, they, The players should be aware... And who knows, that might be the issue, because I know Montel Moore, Montel Moore struggles in big matches, so. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Smith picks it up. Hillett to McLaughlin. To Mafuta. Plays it back to Hillett. Over to McLaughlin. To Mafuta. They're making one heck of a triangle here. Back to Hillett. McLaughlin plays through York. Ken York score, he crosses it in. Somehow that fell to Montel Moore, and we are level. And that goal might win us the league, fittingly, by Montel Moore with all the crazy quick passing and stuff. I don't know how Wrightson got that. To... Oh, it got cleared off of him. Well, that's not very impressive. Can we score another one? <laughs> just, just to make our league winning goal better? Please. That was our first shot on target. That's the bad part. Anyway, Fifield picks it up here off the throw in to Wrightson. It is intercepted. Now Borum Wood might be able to come forward here, but Atkinson heads that away. This, they're still in possession here, though. And uh, Fifield clears it to Hillett, to Wrightson, into the middle with McLaughlin. Plays it into Wrightson. Can Wrightson score? Nope. Smith makes the save. Assuming that's George Smith. And the corner does appear to amount to nothing. I'm going to take off Hillett, even though he's been okay, really. Well, I don't know. I don't really want to. Especially since he's retiring at the end of the season, because I haven't played him. It kind of makes me feel guilty. Anyway, it looks like McLaughlin's going to come off here. For Corey Francis. So we always had the option of moving him forward. 
And he's just on the pitch, which is typically a good thing. As time slowly ticks away, I think we're champions right now. 21 points clear with... Well, they just have five games left, so... I don't, I honestly don't know, because there's, you know, Tremier on 39 games and Wrexham on 40. And Mafuda just got sent off. That makes things right. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Um, <laughs> I guess Hillett can drop back and we can bring on Barkworth for him. I think that'll work. Not the change I wanted to make, but it'll have to do. We just need to hold on here now, and I, I think we'll win the league? I don't know. I'll have to get confirmation by either the players running onto the pitch or the news article. Of course, we can't let them score again, and they don't. I was about to get really frickin' mad just then. <laughs> I want to bring up Manny Smith so we don't get another red card. I'm looking at you, Mafuda. The fact that they've had clear three clear-cut chances and have only scored one goal. I think we're, I picked up a, what, a cut hand? I don't know, we don't need to score. <laughs> Just take him off. Hopefully we don't need to score, I mean. <laughs> a cut hand. I mean, hopefully that should, that should be fine for the next game. If we need it. <laughs> of course we can score goals without Montel, we've done it before. And that is full time. Nobody's running onto the pitch. Uh, I mean, did we win the league? I don't know. I'm going to say they're unlucky, even though we may have just won the league. I'm not entirely sure, though. If not, we can do it against Halifax, which would be great. Yeah, we won the league. The achievement says it. Wonderful. I don't win leagues all that often in FM, so this is, this is a big deal. Because usually I suck at FM, but I mean... It's going pretty good for me. There's confirmation. Um, look back at some of our great wins. 4-1 against Macclesfield. 4-0 against Chelmsford. 4-0 dismantling of AFC Telford. Telford a 3-2 victory over Morecambe. And Montel League scored 26 goals. Which is absolutely insane. And we're food at the end for two matches. Board said initial budget. Four and a half K per week and a transfer budget of eight point eight K. Uh I mean eight point eight K is nothing. I don't know how much four point forty point five K a week is. It looks like a lot based off the fact that our wage budget has trebled. Our available wage budget budget. I can do English. That's good, yeah. I mean, we're only committed to spending 25000 a week. And there's going to be a big clear out of the squad, too. So, Patterson brings glory to Gateshead. That I have done. I was undoubtedly one of the best managers around. I mean, we're in England. Does that mean I'm better than, than like, Jose Mourinho? Because that's nice. Curtis Hales, Wondermaker Patterson. Okay, well, that's James Curtis. He used to play for us. <laughs> wow, he played for us for a long time. Is he retiring by some chance? Can I? Yes, he is actually. <laughs> I might pick him up if I can remember to do so. Uh, Southampton sacked their manager. I don't know why I need to know about that. What? Why? That's a press off. I don't know. Am I like favorite for the job? No. Okay, I have no idea what's going on there. Anyway, so, that's the season at the moment, um, and this video has probably gone on for way too long, but let's just take a look real quick at, uh, it's already on contract, yes, let's take a look real quick at wages. So Monzo Moore will stay, Manny Smith will probably stay, I can't remember, actually he, he's kind of on the border, I think he'll probably stay, if not it'll be a backup. Uh, George Smith should stay. Yeah, but he's amazing. Uh, Corey Francis will definitely stay. Hillett is retiring, so that's another 1.4k we can spend. 
It's a toss-up between a Jawa and York, and I'll have to go into this. One of them's leaving, one of them's staying. And based off the fact that York is on way less wages, it's probably going to be York, even though a Jawa was amazing. It's kind of a shame, because I need to clear out wage budget so I can actually bring in some good players on threes and whatnot. Atkinson will probably be a backup next season. Fifield might be gone. I'm not sure what's going to go on with that situation. Stites should already be gone. I don't know why he's still here. I guess it's the Gibraltarian charm that's keeping him around. Lafuda might be a backup. I'm not sure. He's kind of like our, our Kante slash Mechalele. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's, that's how I'm describing him. Bolton will probably be gone. Danny Johnson will be gone. Uh, Wes York and Ajala is a bit of a toss-up. McLaughlin, I mean, I can't. I can't get rid of him. He'll be around as a backup. Brundle will be gone. Hogan will probably be gone. Yeah, he should be gone already. Hanford will hang around as a backup. I've already got a goalkeeper lined up that I'm going to make a bid for. Wrightson might hang around as a backup, I would I would think. Niall Bell will definitely stay because he's got some potential about him. Even though he'll just be the backup to Moore for the rest of his life. Burt... I mean, he's already transfer listed, so, I mean. <laughs> and then you come down to the lawn players. I hope to sign Aaron Phillips back. Or, uh, or buy him straight out. Because Northampton are in League 1, aren't they? Well, that doesn't tell me. Northampton, they are in, well, the 22nd, so... They're probably going to go down, so they might not. They might be in our division, which might make them reluctant to sell Aaron Phillips. But Aaron Phillips might might want to come to us after the team gets relegated. He seems to like us. So. McCourt, I, same thing. I hope to sign him back. Barkworth, I have no chance of ever signing back, even if I wanted to. And I don't think I do. We're going to have to sign some really good center backs. And, uh, yeah. Zero per week. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess they're I guess they're paying his contract. Yeah, I could never afford him though. And then Liam Smith is also he he'll probably just go back to his parent club. Yeah, he's a great player, but we have Corey Francis, so we should be fine. Anyway, this episode's gone on long enough, and uh, tomorrow's episode might be something different. If you don't know, I'm an avid golfer, so I might film a practice session of mine tomorrow. It's if I can actually make it out to get some practice in, because golf season, as I've mentioned multiple times in these episodes, starts next week, and my game's not where it needs to be, so I need to get it where it needs to be really, really fast. <laughs> so that episode might be out tomorrow. If not, I'll be doing a season roundup of this. I might even do, like, the last game and then a season roundup. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So if you have enjoyed, please do drop a like on the video. If you are new, please do press that subscribe button. I've even got a fancy link down in the comments section now that you can just click on and it should pop up. Just to make it easier if you don't see the subscribe button where it normally is. And uh, please do leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. I like feedback even though I never get any. Somebody listen to me. Give me some feedback. Come on now. If you have enjoyed, that's not, I, I was about to run that whole script again, and it's, okay. Uh, I'll see you next time. I'm tired. <laughs> Just, I don't even know what that was supposed to be. I'll see you next time. We're champions. I'm losing my mind. Bye.